Real quick video here today. Let's talk about how to manage HD0 video while you're out on the racing line at Champs holding everybody up. Not to mention that you're overheating your VTX because you're leaving the thing on the whole time. So here's some really quick tips for you to keep the video off when it should be off, keep that VTX nice and cool so that when you start, you're gonna have a cool VTX and have maximum power. Also, so you can switch your video really easily. So please watch this video, try to configure some stuff up for champs. Um, as always, get on the latest HD0 VTX firmware. I'm running version 1.4 and uh, the latest Express LRS would probably help too. It's really easy on HD0 to set the channel and put the VTX in pit mode. So here's how I turn mine on and off. I just flick this switch here and that's all managed um, with a simple script. I'm going to put that in my uh, description. Just copy and paste that into your CLI and hit save. That'll take aux4 here, which is SD, Sierra David switch, and it'll map it to being down, turns your video on, and up, turns your video off. All right, so I'm going to turn the video on and I'm going to show you another thing. So if we go sticks down and in to get to the main menu, um, I'm going to turn on team race into mode one. Team race mode one, what it means is that the VTX will boot up with the video off and that you have to flip a switch. In this case, the SD switch has to be flipped in order to turn video on. That's what mode one means, is that it will boot up everything with, it, with no video transmitting. So turn that on. So what you can do is you can plug the quad in and it won't transmit video. That means you can test arm in the pits and not worry about knocking anyone out. Just do it. It's a good idea. All right. Video off, simple switch. All right. So here's arguably the most important one. I'm going to use VTX administrator on Express LRS, Lura, to change the channel of the drone for us. So I'm going to go to Lua here, and I'm going to switch this, and we're going to go to channel 2. And I'll do send. And now, on the goggle, I'll just switch this to 2. And turn the video on, and we're good. Just to show that here, we'll go to 1, send. Drone just switched to 1, goggle switched to 1. And here we go, channel 1. You can even do this when the drone is not turned on. So you can set everything up on your radio and then turn on the drone and it will go to the right channel. Okay, so here's how we do this. We're gonna to go to System, Express LRS, and then here's some important things. You know, set your packet rate, 500. Telemetry ratio, it's required. You have to have telemetry. Normally it would be over here and standard. You need to go all the way to the right to race. Race is going to turn off telemetry once you arm, because so we need to use telemetry to change channels. Uh, TX power, keep it at 100 milliwatt max. I use dynamic here. Okay, VTX admin, here's the important thing. So if we want to switch to channel R7, I do this and then send. If you have a backpack set up on the goggle, it'll also change the channel on the goggle at this point. Set power to dash. That's important, otherwise it's going to turn on power when you don't want it to. So I want to manage the power myself in a different way. I use uh, this switch here to change my power. This is power on, that's power off. I have it set to power off by default, just as a safety mechanism. Because I don't want, ever want power turning on when it shouldn't. So that's that. Also, make sure telemetry is turned on in beta flight on the receiver tab. Sometimes it gets turned off and then this stuff doesn't work. There you go. One last little tip for you. This blinking here, that means that the VTX is in pit mode. And that will happen to you if you configure Team, Ro team Race Mode 1. It means that you have to flip a switch to turn video back on. If for some reason your uh, MSP is no longer working so it can't do that, 
Um, I think if you reflash the VTX firmware, it will fix it. Otherwise, connect this VTX, configure MSP, um, and then use the stick, stick commands down and in to get it out of uh, this pit mode on boot. So just a pro tip, blinking blue LED at about this speed means that uh, video is off. I'm going to turn video on now. Now it's out of pit mode. Video's on. And here's video off again. Okay, there you go.